Why is it that on here they have paper mate profile retractable ballpoint pens? Why they got to be paper mate? And why do you want it to be retractable so they can be sitting up in there making all that noise? Child, bye. Is that what you want to deal with? Is that what you want to deal with? Why I gotta be paper made? If I get the Dollar Tree brain, that's what they're gonna get. I'm not finna buy no retractable pins because that will get on my nerves. Baby, there's no plan for the weekend. There is no goal for the long game. Huh? Good peoples, what's going on with you? Welcome to another vlog. Yeah, child, welcome back. Uh, It's the weekend, y'all. Today is Saturday. Mm hmm. It's a very lovely day. Uh, I ain't been doing nothing. Nothing worth mentioning, nothing worth vlogging about, I don't guess. Um, I basically been in this house all week. I've been trying to vlog, but it ain't worked out for me because I ain't been 100%. I ain't been feeling that well this week. Y'all know, same stuff, different week. A couple of, um, not a couple, a few episodes with my heart. Child, a few too many. I need these people to go on ahead and get my motherboard together. I can't keep going like this. Anyways, y'all know I go and get the doggone hot monitor on Tuesday this time. Ooh, they should just really use my check-in from last Tuesday. When I get that, just call me on to the back. You checked in a whole week early. You should be good to go at this point. Anyways, however, what did I do today? Y'all already know. I went to the bus because anything else would be uncivilized. Yes, that part. NT. How? Now, I've been up in here looking at, y'all know these cheering going back to school on uh, on Wednesday. And uh, what's Wednesday the 10th? I think Wednesday the 10th. Mm -hmm. They're getting up out of here on Wednesday. And I've been looking at the supply list and everything. Um, I'm going to show y'all a little bit. I got my, I was supposed to, I, will, uh, I don't know if I said I was going to do it or not. But anyway, I'll show y'all a little stuff that I got my nephew. Because, you know, I said, ah, oh, yes. Brings back memories of when you would buy the kids clothes. And they would just be so happy to wear them. Whatever you put out there, they'll wear them. Child, bye. Anyway, my nephew started kindergarten on uh, Wednesday. Yes first day of kindergarten mm-hmm and uh let's see you know i got i got him some little supplies um yesterday yeah and i think i think my sister said her job was doing this thing for the community where they were giving out like backpacks and other supplies and stuff like that and i think uh they say if you bring your kids if you got kids going to school so hey she, i think that's where they at right now i'm supposed to go over there today i'm not sure if i'm gonna make it today or tomorrow um however i got to get it over there before school start you know anyways but I've been looking at these supply lists and uh, everything. And I, I got a few um, things from the Target Dollar Spot the other day. One day last week, I got this stuff. Cindy and Shanti, y'all really gonna like this child. I got, I got a few pieces to decorate my tear tray for um, fall because that's probably all I'm gonna do. Y'all know I'm be doing a whole lot. Mm -mm, I'm not finna be doing that. Y'all probably gonna get that same glass pumpkin that I put out every year. That orange blanket, if I can find it. And I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't feel like doing all that. Mm -mm. I don't never feel like doing it. Um, I, I'm just gonna do a little bit. Let me set y'all down. A, 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 hold on a second, because I need to talk to y'all about something. One second. Okay, yes, there you are. Now, I said I needed to talk to y'all about something, didn't I? Um... What do I need? Oh, so I was talking about the little pieces that I got to decorate for my um for my, my tear tray. Um, really and truly, I don't know if these things gonna fit on here or not, but they had this stuff at the target dot spot, and I said, let me just pick up a couple of things, you know, uh just a little bit. I didn't get that much because I said I still got some stuff uh from last year. Some of the pumpkins, they might not be the color that I want, but guess what? They got some spray paint. Yeah, mm-hmm. They got plenty of spray paint in the store. So um some of the little ceramic pumpkins that I got. I'm going to spray paint those a different color and maybe add them on the tear tray as well. But yeah, child, as you can see, I got uh, these pumpkins right here. They was all $3 a piece at the Target Dollar Spot. Mm -hmm. This one was two or $3 for these big ones. This one right here, it was a dollar, child. Can y'all see these? It was a dollar. These are little candles. These are really cute and they smell really good, but they was $3 a piece. Can you see that there? Mm -hmm. This says, what did that say? Uh, I don't know what that say. Something gardenia. Is it citrus gardenia? I think that's citrus. Excuse me. I think that say citrus. Yeah, citrus gardenia. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Smells really good. Mm -hmm. And this is apple and clove. Yep. $3. That does. It's like a it's ceramic. Uh-huh. And then y'all see these? I got these little, these little small ones right here. Yes, they were all a dollar. Uh-huh. 
And I think I'm going to, you know, do a little something with my little tear tray child. And that, that's all y'all going to get from me. Uh -huh. Let's move that to the side. Not going to do a whole lot with that. Let's just move that on over there. Senia, I hope you and Shanta, y'all pleased with that because y'all, well, I, I don't know why y'all so in a rush. Why are you in a rush to get fall up in here? What's wrong with you that you do me like that? Whew, child. Be your own people. Your own people. Anyways. Well, you know, I, I want to talk to y'all about a few things in light of, in celebration of these children going back to school, child. Mm-hmm, that part. I want to talk briefly about the dreaded school supply list. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, y'all know I had to write it down. Mm-hmm. This is going to be for, um, I'm going to be talking about everybody's supply list. My elementary, middle school, and definitely high school, because you know I got two of those in my house. Yes, child. Th this right here is going to be dedicated to those who have students that are K through five. Mm-hmm. You, you know, I've been there before, and I want to talk about this supply list. Yes, the amount of things that they have on this supply list. Um, I gotta go in here and get this disclaimer out the way because I know there's some of you out there that are teachers. Um, don't take this the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Just jokes, okay? It is jokes, but I'm serious at the same time. That part, anyways. Don't try to get down in them comments because I'm about to get that down in with you. Um, this is what I want to know. I was, my, I'm looking at my my nephew's supply list for a kindergarten. Okay, and the first thing that they got on this list. Is crims? They got crims on that child. That's the first. The first thing they got on that list is crims. Okay. They want each student to bring four packs mm -hmm. of a twenty-four count. Why? Let's do the math on that real quick. You got let's just say twenty students in a kindergarten class. Twenty students in a kindergarten class. Okay. Twenty of them. You want each one. Twenty students, and you want each student to bring four packs of crims. Why? Why does each student need to bring four pack of crims? So that means you got 20 students bringing four packs. What that is, 20 times what, uh, four, that's 80. That's 80 packs of crayons. Ain't that right, 20? Yeah, that's 80 packs of crayons, ain't it? Let me make sure I got my math right. 20 times four, yeah, four times two is eight all day long. Why do we need 80 packs of crayons? Or are you getting your, your stash for the, um, who, who's gonna come after this class? So you getting yourself together for 20, 23 and 24 school year. I can't be mad at you. You ain't no like being proactive. Anyways, I don't understand why you need that much because then if you, you, you go there, you get, child, if you go and ask all these people to bring all these crims in, then now you have 80 packs and each one of them packs got 24 crims in there. 24. If you over a thousand sticks of crims at that point, a thousand sticks because what that is, 80 times 24, 80 Zero, two, that's 320, 16. Child, you had like 1,920 pieces of crims. How much coloring y'all gonna be doing? How many projects are you gonna be doing this year? How many projects do you have planned for these kindergartens? Y'all gonna be pretty busy, seem like. Let's move along to another supply. They want the children to bring in some scissors. All right, I guess they said we better just ask them to bring in one a piece because if we, if we get all these scissors in, that could be very dangerous in a five-year-old hand. And one pair of scissors per child. That's reasonable. Then they want you to bring in glue. And they're very specific with the things they want, child. They want you to bring in two four-ounce bottles of glue. Each child, 20 of them now. Not only are we bringing in the four-ounce bottles, child, they want the children to bring in uh, 12 glue sticks. 12 times 20 students. That's 240 glue sticks. Why do you need that many glue sticks? Y'all got a lot of projects going on this year, don't you? Cha bye. This is also my question too, because if you got you want them to bring in the glue and the scissors and all of it and, and the crims, um, they don't use construction paper no more. Or is the school district finally gonna kick in and supply something? They say, well, I guess we didn't ask the parents for all this other stuff. Maybe we'll go on ahead and get some uh, construction paper. Child, bye. What else they got on the doggone kindergarten supply list? They got a plastic pencil box. No problem. 
You, it, it, every little kindergarten don't need one of them. That's nothing. They wanted them to have three wide ruled spiral notebooks. I don't remember Chris or Cameron having to have a spiral notebook in kindergarten. They don't ask for the little, y'all know the little books where the children used to learn how to write and stuff. They don't want you to bring them no more. Like how the children learn how to write their letters and stuff. You know what? It just came to me. On this list, they want you to bring, they want all 20 students to bring two reams of white copy paper. That's why they don't want you to bring the doggone uh, handwriting books in there. Because what they're going to do is they're going to go in one of their little books and find it and they're going to print it out. That's what they're going to do, child. They're going to print it out and then, therefore, that, that, that's how the children going to learn how to write their name on this printed out paper. Two reams of white copy paper. Why do we need this? Why can we not get that from the front office? Why is that not something that the school supplies? I don't understand why the parents are having to supply so much and why the school system don't kick in and help these teachers out. Teachers, I'm on your side too. Why are we having to go into our own pockets for this? Why are we doing this? It is beyond me. Why is the school system not kicking in to help these teachers out? Anyways, what else they got on here? They need pink erasers, four of them. I, I, that's a lot, but okay. And I guess the eraser on top of the pencil is not enough. And I guess being in kindergarten, they probably gonna make a lot of mistakes and they gonna need a whole bunch of erasers to erase with, I guess. Then they need yellow p wooden pencils and they got to be number two pencils and they must be sharpened. Maybe they want a 24 count. Each student gonna bring in a pack of 24 count pencils and they got to be sharpened. Number two sharpened pencils. Why they got to be sharpened? Y'all ain't got no one for the children to sharpen the pencils? Y'all ain't got that? Because when I was in school, we had a, you know, the, the one that you put on the wall. that, that it, was, it was nailed to the wall, child. And you go up there and you stick your little pencil in there and you just turn it. You just, okay. They ain't doing that no more? Okay, well, that look like that might be a good idea. Okay, anyways. Um, that's about it. I still think it's ridiculous the amount of things that they ask for. Because this is, to me, this is small compared to, because when Christian was going child, they wanted paper towels, hand sanitizer, tissue. Um, what else did they want? They wanted an arm, a leg, all of that. I said, so the children can't go to the bathroom and get no tissue? Y'all can't go pull off no napkins out the bathroom for, uh, and put them in and just get you a little stack right there? Mm. Now, that's for the, the, the that's for like, the K through five. Now, middle school, it was the same way. It was, I remember being, it was the same way and I just didn't understand that. But if we get on over here and talk about the high school um, supply list, child, it's out of control. Because why, did, uh, over here, whoo, child, it, it made my heart beat fast. Why did they say um, the estimated total is $112.05? I got two of them. So you telling me that I'm gonna be looking at $224? $224? I got two of them. That's how much you telling me that I'm gonna be you? I'm gonna be having to pay? Child, bye. What's wrong with them? My children in the 10th and 11th grade. Cameron 10th, Chris 11th. Why do they have pink erasers on there like with the little children, the, the kindergartners, what my nephew got on there? Why do they say they need them? How, how, at this point, they shouldn't be they shouldn't be erasing that much. Mm -mm. They've been in school for a long time at this point. They don't need that. Why is it that on here they have paper made profile retractable ballpoint pens? Why they got to be paper made? And why do you want it to be retractable so they can be sitting up in there making all that noise? Child, bye. Is that what you want to deal with? Is that what you want to deal with? Why I gotta be paper made? If I get the Dollar Tree brand, that's what they're gonna get. I'm not finna buy no retractable pins because that will get on my nerves. And they gotta have, oh, now see, they switching it up. They switching it up over here. They having unsharpened pencils is what they want them to have. Uh-huh. They want them to have a 24 count. Sharpened liquid highlighters. Why I gotta be liquid? And why I gotta be sharpened? They're saying that these $5.44, I got two of them I got to buy that for. But why I just can't be the big, thick, the big chunky ones? Why do it have to be that kind? They, got, they want them to have Sticky notes, canary yellow. They need four of them, canary yellow. Why they need sticky notes? You just said they the highlighters. So the highlight, they can't highlight what's important. You want them to highlight and write down too? Which one is it? Make up your mind, we can't do both. Anyways, um, what else they want the children to have? Pen plus gear, two pocket folders, solid blue color, letter size. 
Oh, they may be 15 cent, but it doesn't matter. They are very, very specific. When you go out and buy all this stuff, nine times out of 10, my children don't use that stuff. I have stuff left over from since they was in middle school that they can still use. Yeah, I'm not buying all that. Why do these high schoolers need a pencil patch? Mm -mm. A weekly, monthly planner. I ain't buying it because I know. I know my children ain't finna use that. I'm not wasting my money on a weekly planner. Not doing it. They got a book sack on here. Mm -mm. Christian Cameron got their book sack a couple of years ago. I ain't buying no more book sacks. Why do these high schoolers need scissors like what the little children use, what the kindergartners need? Why do they need that? Okay, I'm not buying it. Uh, the calculator, which is $50. You want me to buy that for? You want me to spend $100 in calculators? Child, I buy one and be like, Christian Cameron, y'all, whatever day, they don't need it, then you let, let them borrow it. Let, if Cameron need it on this day, Chris, you just, oh, you wait till she finish. If you got math before her, pass her in the hallway and, 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 and pass the baton, pass the calculator. You know how they pass the baton when they be doing uh, uh, the marathon runs or whatever they doing? Pass the calculator, child. Y'all link up, text them. Hey, Chris, meet me in the hallway and finna give the calculator or something because I ain't buying too. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Pen plus gift copy paper. I don't understand why we can't get this copy paper out the office. Because I know the office is jam-packed with it. I ain't buying it. Anyway, next. Um, they want them to have all these bright colored folders and the spiral notebooks. I can understand the spiral notebooks. Um, but what else? What is this right here? A durable view binder. Mm-hmm. One inch slanted D-rings and it got to be black. It got to be black. Why it got to be black? Why do they need all of this to be organized? They don't need that stuff because I, I you know, I tried to get them the main things that they need. And a lot of times the, the, the notebooks that they come back, is so many empty pages in there. I say, well, I tell you what, you are ahead of the game because when the school year start, guess what? Tear out them pages you done wrote on. Tear out them three or four pages you wrote on and you got a brand new notebook. Yup. Because you'll probably have some more pages that you're going to use. You're going to be able to use that same notebook throughout your high school career. Child, bye. I'm not doing that. Anyways, that's my little rant on the uh, on the supply list because I just don't understand why they have to have all of these things to be successful. We didn't. We didn't. Anyhow. But I do want to say this. For those of you getting ready to go back to school, y'all go out there. Go out there. Be the best that God created you to be. Do the best you can. Go out there. Be great. Yes. Go out there. Be great. And be the best. And wait a minute. Did I want to say that? Yes, go out there, be great, and be the best that God created you to be, okay? I got faith in you. Mm -hmm. Y'all go out there, y'all have a, a very blessed school year, all right? Do that. Anyways, enough of that. Um, child, I'm, I'm fixing to um, show y'all the stuff that I got for um, my nephew real quick. Let me close out this disgusting um, supply list, because child, mm -mm. and y'all see my t-shirt? Y'all see my shirt? Whitney. World Tour, 1987. Yes, child, I was 11 in 19. Was I 11? Yeah, I was 11 in 87. 11. I got this from Target. Mm -hmm. It got her tour dates and stuff on the back. Yeah. But yes, anyways, in case anybody wanted to know, because I get a lot of questions about where I get my graphic tees from. I got this from Target. Uh-huh. Um, But let me show y'all the stuff that I got for my nephew. I'm going to set that up one second. All right, I'm going to start over here. So, um... These are the little scissors that he needed. I got all this little stuff from Dollar General. I was in the other day and I just um, saw this stuff in here and I said, let me let me just pick up a few things for him. So his list, uh, he needed a pair of scissors. I got them. And the glue sticks, child, I just realized, um, I thought it was six in here, but I just realized, child, it's five of them. Well, he need, uh, what, seven more? Because he supposed to have 12. My sister, I think she said she... Um, I already had them or she was going to be getting it from the little thing that they had today. They was giving out book sacks and all of that stuff. So she was going to see if they had it out there. If not, he'll get it. Cause I told her she'd be buying all that stuff. I don't do that. Um, here go his little erasers. I went on here and bought him the four erasers. He needed child and he needed three of these. Um, did he need three of these? No, he needed 24 of these and it's, uh, eight of them in the pack. So I already had these up under my bed. Child just gate, just went on here and throw that in there. Um, got him his little pencil box, and then you know I had to just I went on ahead and just uh, put some little stuff in there with my little with my cricket, and his name a little uh, cricket, but it's it's in there anyway. Yeah, got that. He can put his little stuff in there. And then I got him his two uh, four ounces of glue that they asking for. Ooh, they're so specific nowadays, ain't they? Anyhow, okay. Now 
these this his little outfits, y'all. And I think, well, you know, I think I got all of these from uh Walmart. So this is little little stuff. My sister already got his shoes and stuff, but I got him this little Spider Man shirt with these little black shorts. Uh huh. Then I got him this little uh little polo uh shirt from um from Walmart. Yeah, these little burgundy shorts. I said I think this go together. No navy blue and burgundy and, and gray match. If not, it's gonna match today. Anyway, however, got the little what is that? A little three on the side. Uh huh. Got that. Yep. Um. Got him this little off road. Do they say off road? Yeah, this little off road shirt. Mm hmm. This little off road. I'm struggling. Off road shirt with these little uh red shorts here. My battery about to die. Sorry about that. I don't know if y'all saw that or not, but anyway. Um, yes, got that. And then he got this little um these little blue shorts. Uh-huh. With this little polo shirt. Mm-hmm. And you know, once again, it's got the little three on the side, but then that's two different kind of blues. It'll be alright. Mm-hmm. And then what else he got? He got these little gray shorts right here with the little black Xbox shirt. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's what he got. That is what he got to go back to school with. What is like five, six outfits to get him started? Yeah. Mm hmm They only go to school uh Wednesday, Thursday and Friday or something like that. Yeah, they only go to school three days next week, which I just was like, why y'all just don't start them out on Monday? But you know how the school system is, child. Well, as y'all can see, we are at Walmart. Um, and I'm over here in the plant section trying to replace my other plant child. Um, so he done walked off. You know why he walked off. Um, anyways, we won't discuss that. Uh, you want to say hey to the people, Sip? Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Mm-hmm. Uh, you like see mm -hmm. this plant down here. <clears throat> Excuse me, this plant right here. I think I need this one right here. Let me show y'all what I'm looking at. These plants are real cute, child. They look nice. For some reason, I don't like these snake plants right here. I don't know why. I'm not really feeling those, but I'm really liking these right here. Um, I thought that one was nice, but it's got a lot of little, uh, little issues yeah you know i can't bring that home got no death <clears throat> excuse me what's going on with me i can't bring that home that already got issues child mm -mm. you can't come to my house you got issues you won't make it uh yeah this one right here i don't know i thought this one was gonna be all right let me look at oh lord no nah, we can't do that look at yonder child bye mm. bless your heart let me go around here and see if i can find me a nerd child mm. So I think I done changed my mind from the snake plants. I think I'm a, um, I'm looking at these easy plants over here. This is a nice one, but that um, the pot that is in, it's not um, doesn't go well with my decor. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh oh, shall I? Let me see. But this one right here, this is bad news. It is nice. And I got to make a decision. I know silk, silk is ready to go. I got to make me a decision real quick. Uh huh. These ain't but fifteen dollars. This one's nice. I like that. I might go with that one. Mhm. Mm well, y'all. Uh, as y'all can see, it's daylight, so that means it's another day. Anyways, I'm up in here cooking dinner and oh child speaking of cooking. Let me take my chicken out the oven I am tripping y'all hold on. Let me sit y'all down. I just realized I'm like, what is that? I'm smelling. Hold on a second y'all. Child, bye. Be done burnt, but don't go chicken. Anyways, oh, oh child, that heat. Well, I can't see after that. Alrighty then, let's see here. Oh, let me take that out. Lord, have mercy. I like to have travesty. Mm. And that heat told my eye get up. Anyhow, yeah, child, uh, put my glasses back on if I can see. Hmm, that was a little hot. Anyhow, um, anyways, y'all, I'm up in here cooking dinner. 
Um, I do something real simple because I felt like being simple today. Show sure did. Mm -hmm. It's Monday. Ain't nobody got time for all that. Um, got some baked chicken wings right here. Some uh, broccoli. Mm -hmm. Some rice right here and chai. I've been wanting me some sweet tea, so I'm burning me some. Um, I'm making me some sweet tea. Let me take this off the stove because this I don't want that. I don't want that to keep on uh, going. But yes, let me get y'all back. Um, yeah, I'm up in here doing a whole bunch of stuff, child. I've been um, uh, washing, cleaning, um, the chair and ready to go back to school, and I'm trying to get my house in order, child. Mm -hmm. uh, let me go around here in this laundry room because I had made a huge mess in here. I was trying to multitask, child, and I came around here and I was refilling my um, my my laundry containers and whatnot and spilled a whole bunch of borax on the floor. I started shaking it and didn't realize that it was open and made a whole mess. So, um, I got all this stuff down here on this, um, this floor. I need to sweep this up. And I was in here taking these rugs and stuff up. Cause like I said, I'm washing, I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff, y'all. Oh, child, got to breathe, to breathe. But, um, yes, these cherry get ready to go back to school. Got to get my house in order. And, um, oh Lord, it's getting ready to throw down. Hmm. It was just light. Um, uh, it just got dark all of a sudden. Let me see what's going on in our chair, y'all. Hold on a second. I get distracted very easily. Can you tell? Hmm. It's sprinkling. It's sprinkling. Gotta go. Mm-hmm. He, he ain't got to tell me but once. Mm-hmm. He ain't got to tell me but once. Now, all day long, nothing was going on until uh, I got ready to start um, vlogging. But I realized, I said, child, um, I ain't updated my people since yesterday let me let me get on here and, and talk to him real quick but um it's almost four o'clock i'm hungry yeah i can't get I'm, I'm distracted i just i just had a little hunger pang oh anyhow um what was i saying i got to breathe what was i saying uh i said i would get my house together mm-hmm said that oh i gotta go in here and see if my my um my towel's dry because I don't know what I was thinking about, but I messed around there and put them in the dryer and then something said check on them. Child, I checked on them and I forgot to turn the temperature up on the dryer. What is wrong with me? So they was cold. I said, child, I am all the way out of control. Okay, they almost dry. They almost there. Just a little longer. Just a little longer. Uh, okay, we're going to turn that back on. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and check on this rice. So we can, um, I'm gonna come back and get that flow. I can't deal with that right now. Um, so I can, so we can chew because I know my, um, my broccoli and all that stuff is done and I'm ready to eat. And I know these cheering probably hungry too. It's almost four o'clock. So, and child, I got to some kind of way or another, uh, well, until Russia get off, we got the head out there. Uh huh. Let me sit y'all down for a little bit. I'm just all over the place, y'all. My bad. Maybe I should have got on here, uh, after I got myself, uh, after I was a little more together. Anyway, y'all used to be just, anyway. Uh, yeah, so, um, gotta get over there because I gotta get my nephew his stuff. He needs his stuff because, like I said, he's cheering going back to school and um, I'm excited. I'm, yes, uh, it, it's time to get a little sanity, a little order back, you know, because um, he's cheering when school be out. They be way out of line. They be very much out of line. Mm hmm. So, um, they, uh, my kids, they done started going to bed. Well, they started going to bed um, early so they can kind of get their little sleep habits back on track because I've been seeing all these videos on uh, like TikTok and whatnot about what we not finna do this school year. Yeah, I, my, I'm my, my finna be real simple. Mm -hmm. What we not finna do is what y'all did last year. Mm -mm. Every day getting up like that, running by, mm -mm, we not finna do that. That's just as simple. Whatever you did last year, reverse it. Don't do that no more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kristen already started out asking me if um, I take him, if, if I could take them to school because he don't, he no longer wants to ride the bus. Child, let me cut this oven off. Oh, no, I better leave that on because they want some biscuits. Whew. Um, yeah, and I already said, Mom, you know, do we have to ride the bus? Son, um, it would be nice. But, you know, I understand y'all getting a little older and you feel like you're I guess you feel like you're too good to ride the bus because child, I was riding the school bus all the way up until I graduated. Anyhow, whatever, y'all. Anyway, let me let me get in here and get something in my stomach and maybe I'll make more sense because I feel like I'm all over the place. But like I said, y'all used to that. We family. Y'all know y'all always got that one person in your family and that one person is me. Anyhow, 
Let me get me something to eat and I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. Okay? Okay. Oh, no, y'all don't like that. Bye-bye now. <laughs>
It's some, you feel it? Yeah. It's some residual <laughs> up in here somewhere. Child, bye. What's wrong with the lady? Sorry, y'all. I'm ready for bed. You know. Yeah. Oh, they didn't see people's cars on the phone. Mm -hmm. they, I, I showed up. He had mine on anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. Our conversation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What was we talking about? You were about to tell him about what we were talking about this morning. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. on her, on when, when, when she she called me while she was at the job, she was checking on me right there. And uh, uh, I don't know how we got on the conversation about arguing. Oh, I know what it was because she, somebody at the job had said that she got an email and she wasn't feeling that email, right? Mm -mm. So, um, <laughs> she all she sent the people back was uh, noted and understood mm -hmm. with a period, okay? Mm -hmm. And so, we used to, you know, we siblings, we argue, we grown people, we grown people, yes, we do, we, we argue. Yeah. yeah, and so we've had a few little doozies. Yes, we have. Mm -hmm. And so, um, she knew how to get under my skin. You know your siblings <laughs> know how to get under your skin, right? And so we get into it like she could be at work and we be texting back and forth, arguing in the text, y'all. Homegirl was hit me back with the like if she if it's open for discussion still, she'll hit me back with a understood. Dot dot dot. Y'all know the ellipsis or whatever. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what it is, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Meaning, okay, I I understand what you're saying, but um them dots mean depending on what you come back with. The, the, the conversation still open for discussion with the mm -hmm. ellipses, okay? <laughs> but if I send her back some bull, she ain't feeling what I just said. Would ever come back? She come back with a understood period or either a noted period. Yeah, I can't stand when she do that because I say, "What am I? One of your coworkers?" I call it the coworker vocabulary. Why do you have to say understood? She gets so mad. She know how to get a ship chick with the understood. And that's it. That means, and if she put a period, that means she ain't gonna talk to you for the next. It's gonna take her three to five business days before she talk to you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's because yeah. I'd be a little like irritated, little. and I don't know what else to say. Mm -mm. So then she I'm just, just like, no, at this point, like I ain't, I'm through with you. I'm through with you right now. And it's gonna be about three to five business <laughs> days before I talk to you again. Mm -hmm. So like, I hit him with the noted. Yeah, and, and that's it. <clears throat> she done. She not gonna talk to you no more. And I'd be like. Okay, she know what she doing. Yeah, she, she sent me a text back and said, so what are we, co-workers, co-workers now? now? Like, she know I can't stand when she do that. Uh, know it. Like, do I work with you? Um, I, I thought we was family members. I, I, I really but thought I didn't know that it got ones. to her, like, that much. Like, I didn't realize. Yeah, we could not even be arguing, though. Okay. We could not even be arguing, though. And homegirl would just send me something. Like, if I just say, okay, well, wait, let's do such and such. And she'll be like, understood. I'd be like, Understood. That's how you. That's how you get your coworkers. She be hitting you with the noted. Understood. Like we don't work together. Um, what you doing? So I asked one of my coworkers. Like she was like, "Oh, I know. If it's understood and it has other stuff behind it or a smiley face, I know you're okay. You're just saying that you understand. But if you hit, because I was telling them what Tiff had said, and mm -hmm. all my coworkers know Tiff." So I said, I want to see if it's true. And they're like, oh, but if you put that noted and there's nothing behind it, we know you're pissed. And if it's a period, though, <laughs> but if it's a noted and a period, period with you nothing know, else, you're pissed her all the way up. Okay. Like she done with y'all. I told y'all, three to five business days, depending on how bad the situation is, it could be five to seven business days. But I didn't know she was hip to that, and I didn't know that it bothered her like that. I like, I did not know. Oh, it's, oh, I said, she know what she's doing. Like, what are we? Told her, oh, I got told her, and then she going here. I said, she, you know, your siblings don't have to get under your skin. They know what they're doing. Like, she, uh, but at first time, I didn't know. Oh, child, when I told her, and then she did it after we all it, I said, Okay, she know what she's doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, okay, yeah. know that I'm gonna be at your car when you get off. All right, <laughs> because Tiff gotta get the last word, you know. Yeah. So I just be like, I hit yeah. her with the noted, yeah. Boom. done, noted. Y'all already know, like, <laughs> she don't hear what I got to say now. She, she, not, I'm gonna text her something back, she might not respond, but you gonna see, you I gonna text see, you I text you, yes. Y'all gone it. What's wrong with it? But I can't. Not, she do me like that. But I can't like not look at your text. She'll look at it, but she ain't gonna respond. You know, I, the, these iPhones that you know that they read that text. I know. Because that's because I already. I know. Like, oh, so she shit. read it. Okay, that just makes it okay. When well, she's three, to, okay, all right, child. One time we went like two weeks when speaking we to one did. another. We I didn't care. I, I I text her. I ain't even call her. I text her. I ain't saying hey nothing. I mm. said, can I get can I get the baby? Yeah, <laughs> she did. <laughs> With my nephew, can I get the baby? Yes. That's it. And I was like, sure. Can I get? Okay, we exchanged the baby. I ain't even say nothing. Nothing to her. I just handed it to her, hand his bag, bye bye. And then she had clothes for him at the house, so I really didn't have to pack much for him. Had everything you need. You can get your child. Mm -hmm. And like before that, now look at this one here. Hey guys. 
That yeah, she go with the guys. Who is your mama? Okay, I got it. Auntie, why she your mama? Hey, peepers. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> she peepers. That was fake, yeah, Cameron. Peepers. peepers. How you say ginger? Ginger, ginger. Mm -mm. It's ginger. Yeah, those are my children. And one time we got into one. Ooh, <laughs> we got into an argument, and I wanted Chris and Cam wait. We already had plans for me to get Chris and Cameron for the day, oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. um, mm -hmm. so I asked her if she would meet me at a grocery store. <laughs> Food Depot, Food Depot, Food Depot in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Food Depot. Food Depot in Atlanta, and we nobody said anything. Chris and Cameron get out, out of their I mean, mama's car. And y'all go ahead on over there with your auntie. And got in my car. And I said, hey to her. And, 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 and I ain't didn't say nothing. Mask left. Mask <laughs> and she went in that direction, I and I went in that, that direction. Bye. And that was it. And I took the kids to Steak and Shake. Mm -hmm. We went to Target. We went and had our fun. I, I dropped them home. and I still ain't saying nothing to nope. <laughs> That was it. Child, just doing the most. What's wrong with them? But there are times when we've had little little sibling, what you call it, little arguments, and then we get over it quick and be like, okay, so what are we gonna do for lunch tomorrow? Mm -hmm. You know, are oh, we gonna go somewhere? And others where two weeks, two weeks, <laughs> she, was so mad. she was supposed to go with me to a wedding. Mm. She was supposed to go with me to a wedding, and awful. Um, anyway, long story short, I texted her and I said, so I guess you're not going with me to that wedding, huh? The wedding was over at that point. <laughs> I had called her. I had said hey, nothing. That dog buy nothing. 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 Cause was that the one we was in the, in the, in the driveway arguing? And mama was like, "Y'all, yes. mama was hot. Oh, she was so mad. Ooh, mama Lee was, or Silky were mad. Mama was fired up. She was like, "Y'all." Even mama shame. brother came out because he lived next door to Tiff at that time. Yeah, she was like, "Y'all." Uncle came out. Said. Came out the, and Uncle said, "Y'all, like, y'all all, all right? right? <laughs> y'all all right?" Mama like, came and got the house. She said. Y'all ought to be ashamed of y'all selves. I ain't gonna tell you what she said, but nah, mm -mm. yeah, yeah but just know she, she, she said choice we, words for us. In other words, y'all need to get in the And then she was super mad at me much. because I was mad and I just jumped in my car and went home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you have to understand, like before the kids, before I was married, I practically lived with Tiff and Silky <laughs> and the kids. And I was cool, she down there. I would. Mama had a whole like apartment down in the basement mm -hmm. and. I slept down there with mama. Like her apartment was for storage, cause yes, we called my apartment the the pretty storage. That's what it was. That's cause that's pretty was. much what it was. Mm -hmm. And I, even on work nights, I was pretty much there. And down there with mama. Down there with mama. <laughs> and I was working on my masters at the time. I'd be down there with mama, writing my papers. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I I was always over there. So for me to get in the car and tear out and go to the house, Ooh. my house. I remember going home like this. She, is no, she weird. went to the storage. She I went, went to the, the storage. storage. I went to the storage. <laughs> and I was like, this is very strange. Because mm -hmm. you have to know, like, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I was at TIS. Yeah, I'm talking during the week, too. Yeah. A lot of times during the week. from the house. Or I work remote from the house. I was working. Oh, I've been doing the remote thing, y'all, since remote was a thing. Y'all, she would play hooky. We'd be all out at Perimeter Mall. Ooh, shocking. <laughs> We'd be at Perimeter Mall killing it. Killing it. Having it a no great sense. time. It made no sense how she took all that time from the people. Like, What's wrong with you? But guess what? As like long that. as I had my phone, I was working. Look, let me tell you something. I've always been fortunate to have, like, to have, you know that, like, jobs where I but have her, the her flexibility. Meetings, let me tell you something. Her meetings have meetings. They do. Girl, they do. You in another meeting? I'm Ooh, in another meeting. A and I'm about to walk into another one. Let me call you back to it. Gotcha. I got to walk into That's another one. Gotcha. Look, she got the boy backpack on. You, you look silly. You, you, look, you, you look like you a look silly. <laughs> What's wrong with you that you look like that? Show the people. Ooh, look how that backpack. Look now, how she got, she got a little cousin backpack. backpack on. Why she got that baby back? You 37 <laughs> years old. She want a, what's that, what's that, Paw Patrol? Paw Patrol. I look she good, right? What'd you say? I look good, right? Tell the people what you said after you almost killed me. Huh? After, after you came to a stop, we got on, we got in that parking lot. I said, get out. I did. And then she got in, she got on the driver's side. I told her that Cameron always have a good attitude about everything. Yes. She got on the driver's side, I mean, on the uh, passenger side, and she got in, and she said, I did good, Mom, right? <laughs> I said, you did good. The kid almost killed me. Yeah, you, you did a I good did job good, of that. I did good, Mom, right? That's exactly what she said. I did good, Mom, right? I did good, right, Mom? That's what she put on her story. <laughs> she said, I did good, Mom, right? Cameron is the most positive child you will ever meet in always, your entire life. Always smiling, life. always full of life. This is how she's been her whole life. Yes, I'm like, I wanted it back there. 
It's my apparel. Leave my apparel alone. I put it up there for a reason, Mom. Why? Wow, what's the reason, Kim? Because it looks stupid right back there. It looks stupid, stupid. right now. <laughs> it's it's Meanwhile, me. you the jokers. Well, I can't talk about sweatshirts right now. They're not, they're like, but you wear sweatshirts. Well, if you wouldn't, if you didn't treat us like this was the uh, North Pole outside in ninety eight degrees. I was waiting to come in here and see Santa and his elves up in here when we uh when we when we walked up in here. He got to be in here as cold as it is. We got to be at the North Pole. Do it feel cold to you right now? Don't you do that? Does it feel cold? Oh, no, no, the rest you finna own it. Oh. You gonna tap your teeth like that? You want to cost me some money? Is this healthy water? What is yeah. alkaline? I just like it. Ain't that what's in batches? Don't don't have alkaline in batches. Like, yeah, uh, oh, yeah. So why, why? Well, acid, isn't it? Uh, uh, alkaline is Bellies a base. Got, but, but they still got alkaline in batteries. Oh, yeah, alkaline batteries. So you're yeah, drinking yeah, battery yeah. juice? Wait, I'm going to need to take like five of these. Girl, get out there, lady, refrigerator. I'm going to take five of these. I, I buy them in bulk, so. Thank she you. buy everything in bulk. Here, put this, put That's that. my favorite water, y'all. I don't drink the alkaline water because I feel like it. It says pH plus 9.5, so I'm going to. How's she drinking it like that? Hot taste, Cameron. Why you gotta swallow like that? Tastes like water. Why she gotta swallow? Why can you, you hear her swallow? You hear the swallow? Why you swallow that loud? Cause you definitely sick, your child. Mm. Oh, your esophagus must not be that good. <laughs> you do too. Everybody just heard you swallow that water. Auntie Rachel was Auntie Rachel. Remember, Auntie, we was sitting there, and then we was all Auntie Rachel was uh, swallowing her cherry coke loud. And then now, from now on, she was like, I'm going to have to watch in my meetings. <laughs> yeah. We at the table, and she uh, she swallowed. And I said, why you got to swallow that drink like that? She said, is it? Is it, is it, is it? I said, is it? It's not like, like, it's like she got a... Um, it, they got me with a phobia. Yeah. I can't even drink in my meetings. <laughs> You need a straw because this is my favorite cup, y'all. That's what I said. Step and outside and, and, and drink it. Don't bring that in on me. You're gonna be disturbing the people. <laughs> see, that's how she be looking around to see who <laughs> she do that every time. Now she look around when she drink, like oh. I'm trying to make sure it wasn't loud. You you don't think girl bye. That was loud. I don't know. It's just the way you look and trying to uh trying to see. You, you be you're making yourself uh <laughs> I do and the meetings I like, conspicuous, conspicuous, yeah. And no, conspicuous. <laughs> <laughs> you said conspicuous. Yeah, I said no, conspicuous. Because <laughs> if you're inconspicuous, yeah. Well, so you making you it. being conspicuous with what you're doing. <laughs> you ain't trying to be in, you, you want to be inconspicuous, but you're making yourself conspicuous. conspicuous. Yeah, I am. That, that's you it. keep saying it wrong. It's not conspicuous. Conspicuous. Mom. She's very educated, so you know, uh, you know, she. I'm looking at your puzzle. Get out, her puddles? get out of here. Get out of here. What are they called? And I carried her. Gave her life and she talked. I love you. These children are something else. Child, bye. It's, we've been on here for 14 minutes and five we? seconds. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear the lullabies and cheering. It's being rocked to sleep. They She's are. Be mm -mm. Night, night now. Mama love you. Mama see you in the morning. By 745, they got to be. Sometimes I call here, child. They be in the bed at 630. <laughs> Homegirl be done had it. Go to bed. Everybody just go to bed. And my five-year-old says, but mommy, the sun is still shining She said, I don't care if the sun is just coming up. Go to bed. I love what I do. I said, well, let me close them blinds for you. Yeah, go to bed. I'm busting everybody. I'm busting everybody. Go to bed. Why she crying? Look, camera. And she go, why she crying? I'm busting everybody when I get back there. That camera's like, me too? I was like, no. She had to bring some conscience. That I never thought I had. The fact that I love them, you can love them. They make you just as much as you love them. You be just that mad. They make you lose, it, your, it lose, make you yourself. lose yourself. Who is this person? I said, who is this lady? This ain't my sister. Everything yeah, I love. <laughs> she said, on everything, what you love, everything I love, I'm gonna bust you. you. Why is that like the famous line for? Uh, That's Auntie Rachel line. Yeah, because I, I say, don't make get I say, right. I tell you, don't. Do I need to come out there? Yep. That's what she tell my. I said in the middle of the hallway. I say, hey, 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 hey. Mom. That's how I bring order. Hey, 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 hey. She does it to mine too. Like, she'll be on the phone. I'll be like, oh, I said, put me on speakerphone. And I put her on speakerphone. I said, hey, 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 hold hey, the phone hey. out like that. Like, I said, what's wrong with you that you treat my sister like that? Mom. Silence. Silence. I, I, I'm the, between me and Sigurd, I'm the more, y'all probably already know, I'm the more aggressive parent. I'm the, yeah. I'm, I'm a yeller. Uh huh. Mama be like, you need to stop yelling at them cheering. I say, that's all they understand. I'm trying they to don't, tell you. When you talk to them, like, okay, come over here and sit down. Mm -hmm. They don't get, if you don't get your, Mm -hmm. yeah, or, when, or when we was growing up though, mama, this was her favorite line. If you value your ass, 
Mm -hmm. You go somewhere and sit down. That's that was it. her favorite line. That's it. And that's all she had to say. These children. But I'm saying, I gotta say one thing, though. My sister. She is Annie of the Year. Annie. Not Auntie. Not not Auntie. Not TT. Annie. Oh, but she finna be Annie of the Millennium. What she say she finna do for the year? Annie of the Year. She finished. Look at all these nice clothes. Here. I showed you. See this I showed one? It's in this vlog. I think it is. Yeah, she she took care of Abiel because he going to kindergarten. I said it grows so fast. Okay. They grow so fast. I um, remember when she was holding that baby. I was there when he was born. When he was born. Now he's going to the kindergarten. The bath in the Show did because I was scared. Clip this thing in there because she was scared. Because I was scared to too. Mm -hmm. Look. <laughs> <laughs> she, but she took care of all that. She bought his school supplies. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's good to have a good auntie. It's a good auntie. You're good people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's good people. Peepers, what's wrong with y'all? Oh, peepers. We must be cut from a different cloth because I don't, I don't believe these my family knows. But this lady right here, these children, yeah, yeah, I told y'all about them Yeezys they was asking for. I said, mm -hmm. I wouldn't buy them. I'm going to get them for them. I got, I got them. I said, yeah, she's going to be don't any of the millennium. You hear me? I got my babies. Ever since they were little, I always bought them a fresh pair of kicks for school and their school supplies. Mm -hmm. So it's so funny that, that she now them. bought little man's school supplies. But, yeah. Oh, I thought she was going to cry for them. I'm no good. I thought I heard a little, like, a little squeak in her voice. You know, I thought she was I had a little squeak. It's just, you know, it's kind of, you know, you reminisce. I'm right. remember, I remember buying all their little school supplies. I she, remember buying it. I'm finna go. Get it, let's, let's go. <laughs> this lady finna sit the beast on the couch. You don't start that crying. I'm just saying. I remember when they were little, I was buying their school supplies, and Tiff didn't want to buy everything on the list. But she got to have the other stuff, no though. I wasn't finna buy. And I was like, no, they have to go with all their stuff. And then I would walk them around the first day with Tiffany and Lira. Mm -hmm. And we all be in the first day pictures. Yeah. When, when but guess what? Them. My county won't let you walk the kids in. Yeah, I don't, because of the, the what was it, the stuff that happened, that happened in, in, Texas in Texas and all that. I said, that's crazy. So they have these little lanyards that the kids put around their neck that says, I belong to classroom such and such to help them get where they need to go. That's insane. It was something I was getting ready to tell. So I guess I, I, they were like, well, where are we going to take our pictures? The teacher said, at your house. At your house. So mm -hmm. exciting. Um, I'm, I'm, but my I'm, big I'm, ones, they're going to be 10th and 11th grade. Where's the time we gone? Almost there. We almost there, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but where's the time gone? Away. I remember when Chris used to announce me at the door. Auntie Rachel's here. I said, we know who she is. What's wrong with you that you run up to the door like that? And I would pull up my car fast and leave it running and jump out. So he I was like three. Say, Two or three. Yeah, like, like three. Three, four. He He's would announce me. The most. What's wrong with the chair? That's always been my boy. I love that boy. My Cameron. I do. Y'all, the way she said she going to act at Chris' graduation is, oh, is Lord. out of line. I'm going to lose myself. It's out of line. I said, I'm not sitting with her. Mm -mm. I, I'm, I'm, sitting I'm, gonna, the don't, I'm sitting in the not, don't act crazy uh, section because she needs, she going to need a little I'm going to take that whole section by, by myself. Herself. She gonna, can't nobody and it's going to be tears. Blocked off, blocked off. It's going to be tears and hollering. That's my baby. It's going to be a little bit of everything. And I keep, I, um, I got to tell my last lady, make sure you put these on extra tight. That's crazy camera auntie. I don't know what's wrong with her while she Because, you know, she got all the eyelashes in the jeans. By the time I came, there was no eyelashes left. <laughs> you ain't right. I got to buy mine. She got all of them. So I have, to, I have to buy mine. I didn't tell you to be born last. La lash, uh, la born last and lashless. So I, I had to buy my lashes. lashes. I didn't tell you to be born last. So I'm going to tell, I'm, I'm tell my lash lady, please put these on tight when Chris go to graduate. Mm. Cause I already know I'm a holler and scream and cry. I am, I'm not sitting with her. I That's my baby. See, to see I'm my baby walk that I'm stage. not sitting with her. No, no, no. Understood. I'm not sitting with her. And, 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 That's a and, shame. and if she act like that, That's it's gonna take me seven to ten business days to get myself back together. Y'all, when I saw Chris drive the car the other day. Oh God, y'all. I was behind the wheel. I was driving behind him, and I said, "Look at my y'all see my baby driving that she car." She's a Karen. Look at my baby driving that car. Y'all see my baby driving that car. He driving the heck out of that car. Y'all see him? Y'all see him? <laughs> he was driving that car. I said, "Ooh, look how he made that left turn. Mm -hmm. That was a good turn right there." That lady's out of control. She out of control with the kids. I just was. I'd be so proud of him. Mm. I told him, "You have passed the test. You can drive me anytime you want to. You passed in my book." It's so special to me. She didn't watch the vlog, y'all. I told y'all I had it. She didn't watch the vlog yet. She got to catch up after she mm -hmm. saw what I said about Nick in that vlog. No, I saw it. 
Oh, you seen it? Yeah. Oh, my but bad. Said, yeah, she, I got, she got offended. I, I saw, saw it. it. She got the... <laughs> yeah, I saw it. I said, but I still believe in them. Look at my face. I still believe in them. I believe in them too. As long as they in a call with somebody else, <laughs> I believe they can do it. I, mama, know you can do it. I'm gonna meet you. Yeah, boy. Look at look at my look at mama baby driving that car. Yeah, look how he turned. Mm -mm -mm. But I will be in there with him. No man. Definitely not this joker. Hey, mama love you, girl. Oh, hey. hey. You gotta put your hand on her shoulder like you do, like she do you. Put your hand on her shoulder like. Did good, right, Cam? <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, y'all know I'm famous for not closing these doggone, <clears throat> excuse me, famous for not closing these doggone vlogs out. So y'all already know what I'm about to say. Like always, all good things come to an end. I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with us. Y'all make sure you subscribe with your bell turned on because there's always more to come. And I think that's all I need to say to y'all. Yeah, I think that's it. All right now, y'all be blessed. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.